This test event, uh, the series of events we're executing out here, is critical to opening up the envelope, again, to meet those realistic needs of the U.S. Marine Corps. Ship-borne capabilities are important for the F-35B because they're important for the Marine Corps. Having the F-35B, having a stealth platform that's organic to that unit will allow us to support the Marines. Uh, I'm honored. I've, I've never thought that I'd ever be a part of anything like this. Every day I wake up, I, I see something like this and how it reforms. It's, it's amazing to see what this thing can do. Certainly one of the more important things we're doing out here is operating the F-35B aboard an L-class ship at night. You know, our striking power as a national force typically comes at night, so the ability to operate this aircraft from these kind of ships in a nighttime environment is critical for Marine Corps IOC. The F-35 is going to allow uh, future pilots to worry less about stick and rudder skills and more about executing the mission. The AV-8B is a workload intensive, very procedurally intensive aircraft to fly, especially aboard a ship. This is a much more forgiving aircraft to mistakes that the pilot might make. The fact that the Harrier was not fly-by-wire at all, there was nothing in between me and the flight controls. So I could do things in the Harrier that would very specifically get me killed if I did them incorrectly. Whereas in this airplane, there's a level of protection between me and those flight control surfaces. So in a mission, you know, up and away from the ship, that's going to allow me to spend more time thinking about the tactical picture, uh, thinking about how I'm going to support the Marines on the ground. It's been performing fantastic. It's been remarkable. Uh, compared to Legacy Stovall, it's absolutely steady and rock solid. I think the Marine Corps is really going to be happy with the aircraft. Operating in a shipboard environment is very, very dangerous, and the workload for the pilots is very high. For the F-35, uh, speaking with the pilots and being in a tower, that workload has been significantly reduced, and therefore the risks associated with operating aboard a ship has also been reduced. But in terms of handling qualities in relation to legacy aircraft, it's by far a lower workload on the pilot uh, to come into the hover, to cross over, to line up on the spot. It's a very low workload because the computer is taking care of all the many, many control inputs that need to be required to have a stable hover. DT-2 is, has been kind of a, a watershed event for, for the F-35B program and its compatibility with LHD ships. We've pushed out the uh, wind envelope uh, beyond what the uh, legacy platform, the Harrier, was able to achieve. A fifth generation aircraft such as the F-35 will open up threat areas where previous legacy fighters that operate off L-class ships weren't even invited to play. So an F-35B operating from this type of ship really gives a joint warfighting commander different options to affect change in the world wherever it is necessary.